Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have an interesting video for you guys. Um, it, well, it's not a story time, it's kind of like a story time, um, mainly like an advice video. So we're going to be doing a free chat, and today we're going to be talking about uh, getting your first Brazilian wax. So if you guys are interested in hearing some tips and thoughts about getting a Brazilian, then just please keep on watching. Okay, so if you guys don't know what a Brazilian wax is, that is getting your kitty cat wax and your backside wax. So I have gotten a Brazilian before. Um, I went to the European spa back in Jersey. They are pretty much everywhere in every state, but um, they're too far from me. They're about an hour and a half, and that's a lot just to uh, get a Brazilian. So they're are in Atlanta and I'm an hour away from Atlanta so it doesn't sound that bad but Atlanta traffic is disgusting like it is oh my god it's horrible so I'm not beat to drive in that traffic for a Brazilian so um, I used to get them back in Jersey I had stopped um, and then I tried to do it myself I got the Veet waxing strips no 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 the Veet waxing strips are powerful enough to take off um, the lip hair, I used to wax my own upper lip at home. Um, it is powerful for that because the hair is a lot thinner, but down there you need that strong wax and you need that good pull. You have to tug and pull and all that stuff, so it just didn't work out. It was very painful. It was a mess. I was very sticky down there, and it was so annoying taking a shower because water doesn't get waxed off. You need an oil, so baby oil or like a coconut oil, something that's going to break it down. So it was a hot mess when I tried it myself never again so I was shaving well f I did nair which you're not it's not recommended to do nair down there but it would take the hair off but my gynecologist told me that it could throw off my pH balance and she's surprised that it didn't so I was like okay I'm gonna stop using it immediately so I stopped doing that and I went back to shaving I hate shaving because ingrown hairs and the hair grows back thicker and thicker Ugh. So, um, fast forward, before I left, I didn't, um, well, first of all, my money was tight because my job really screwed me over and, um, cut my hours back, so I couldn't, I had to, like, save my money for necessities and getting, like, waxing and stuff and shaving down there wasn't necessarily a necessity, so I had cut some of that out and cut back on it, so I was like, when I come to Georgia and get my situation right, then I'm going to start off with going back to the spa, getting my waxes and all that jazz. So, um, fast forward, I'm down here, I haven't touch down there in like a month so the hair is very thick and long so when I went for my Brazilian oh my god it hurt so bad because it had been so long it had been months and I had started shaving again when you disrupt the pattern of waxing 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 you mess up your hair completely it's because like I said waxing pulls the hair directly from the follicle so it's not going to grow back thicker it's going to grow back thinner but shaving you're just getting the top layer so it's gonna grow back thicker and all that stuff so I went and it was very very painful so she told me some tips that I could do um again when I come back but I wouldn't it wouldn't really apply to me because I already got through my first one in so long so if you are thinking about getting Brazilian I just wanted to share some tips for you guys on what to do so first off I wrote it down in my notes because I wanted to make sure I covered everything. So the first thing I'm going to do are, is research places to go. I research places I found the European spa. So if you don't have one by you or it's too far, then you need to find other spas around that do it, that specialize in it. I don't recommend you know going to a nail salon. I know there's nail salons that do it. I want someone that's certified in esthetician and body waxing. So um, look around for spas. I went to Kerr, the European spa, which is about 30 minutes away from me, which isn't too bad. Um, I went to Mia. She's a great esthetician, very friendly, very personable, which I love. You know, you want to have a good relationship with your esthetician because, if, well, if you don't know what an esthetician is, which I was surprised a lot of people don't know, that is a skincare specialist. So if you're going to esthetician, you know, treat your acne or get facials, you need to have a good relationship because that's going to be the person you go to. You want that person to be the same person you go for facials, for waxing, all that stuff. So it's important to have a great relationship with your esthetician. So she was very nice. I'm going to continue to go back to her. The spa was absolutely amazing. It smelled so good and I was so peaceful and serene. They offered me green tea and everything. So I was like, oh wow. And then they had the sounds of like the waterfall and like the Amazon, like birds chirping, which is very relaxing to me. Like not annoying birds, but like birds that would be in the Amazon and <laughs> that are like peaceful. So it was very nice. I really like the setting. So it is very important to make sure you research places that are going to take care of you, have great reviews. That is 
the great thing about Reddit and Google and stuff like that, I mean Yelp, not Reddit, but for Yelp, you know, they have great reviews out there because you definitely want to look into the pros and cons. So Kerr the European Spa had 4.5 stars out of 5, so that's really good. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go there. I made my appointment. It was $65 to get a Brazilian. So once I found the right place, the second step was to not go right before your menstrual cycle because you are very, it's very tender down there. The nerve endings, um, she's explaining to me, are um, very sensitive at that time, but my dumbass went right before my menstrual cycle, so the pain was definitely a lot worse. Oh my gosh. So I don't want this video to get demonetized, but it probably is, but when she's down by the clit and the labia and waxing where that hurt like a bitch like that's why they say don't go when you're so close to your menstrual cycle but I was like I don't want to deal with my menstrual cycle and have hair down there so I was like I'm just gonna do it I got it so my pain tolerance is medium I can take it I can be pretty strong about it even when it hurts so I would say it was definitely about a seven when it was usually a five but that again that's I didn't go so close around my menstrual cycle so um yeah, it definitely hurt. I ended up kicking her two times, and it was horrible because when you go, there's two positions. Usually at the um, when I went to the European spa, it was always butterfly position, and that's when your heels are together. My phone's falling, sorry. Your heels, like your feet are like this, heel to toe like this, and then you're just, you know, open like that, and they are waxing you. But I had one leg on and one leg hanging off, and that was a lot easier. She was able to actually really get in there good, I feel like, in just one shoop one pull so I did the one leg on one leg off but every spa is different every esthetician is different but I would definitely recommend doing the one leg on one leg hang hanging off just because I have tried both positions and that was the most comfortable and easiest for me personally and um, you definitely have to trial and error see what you like but definitely start off with one leg off especially your first time you don't want them to keep going over it because it's very painful so it's easier for them to get it all in one pull so um, also don't go before your menstrual cycle. Don't be like me. Um, and there's actually some people that go on their menstrual cycle. I'm super sensitive down there, so I cannot imagine. So when they go, she's telling me she has clients that go on their menstrual cycle. So um, they have a tampon in. They cut the string so they don't actually, like, um, accidentally pull it out when they're pulling up. But, yeah, she'll have clients that come. I'm like, wow, ballsy. <laughs> The next tip I have for you guys is to trim, and I never found that in my research when I was looking, um, and yeah, like, no one ever tells you that, so from uh, the videos I, uh, watched and the magazines that I read, like, articles online, is to trim, because the longer the hair, the more painful it is, and she was telling me, she asked, like, we were talking, she asked if I had one before, blah, 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 and she goes, um, definitely trim next time, because I was in so much pain, the hair was long, because like I said, it had been three weeks, and when you're shaving down there, you know how thick the hair can get, so, she definitely told me to trim, and to share that with you guys, definitely trim the hairs, it has to be, I believe, like, an inch and a half, it has to be, like, a half, I think it's, either a half to one inch it has to be long definitely research talk to your esthetician when you make your appointment um ask them you know what they recommend i'm not saying you have to measure it out but you can kind of eye it out and or at the spa they'll trim she trims there but i said oh it's okay i'll be fine big mistake so always take the esthetician's advice but yeah make sure you trim your hair so they're not too long because like i said the longer the hair the harder it hurts trust me the more it hurts <laughs> The next tip I have is exfoliate before and after. When you exfoliate, whether you're getting a Brazilian, your upper lip, or your underarms, it makes the skin smoother and a lot easier for the hair to just lift up because the skin isn't so rough. So um, when, before I get my underarms waxed, I will make sure I exfoliate. I use I got an exfoliator off of Amazon. It's in my shower right now, but I'll have the I'll have it linked down below. It's a coconut oil body scrub and it is heaven and it feels so good and moisturizes so good but I went to get my underarm wax on Wednesday it just pulled the hair up with no problem it was like a two a two and a half not even I, I didn't even like flinch or anything I'm just like okay and she pulled it up so it was nothing so definitely exfoliate and then it's important to exfoliate after she was telling me um just because you're very sensitive down there and you pulled the hair up so you're not going to get any ingrown hairs but it can be uh, irritated so you definitely want to make sure you exfoliate to keep the skin smooth um, and you want to be careful on exactly what kind of exfoli exfoliator you're putting on down there. You can. She told me a DIY one, which was brown sugar or regular sugar coconut oil. 
and a little olive oil and just um, mix it together and you can use that as a homemade DIY scrub and use it for seven days she said every day um, once a day and I did that and I definitely noticed the difference is a lot smoother down there so I definitely recommend it and my point of saying um, be careful what exfoliator you use because it's very sensitive down there and you don't want to throw off your pH balance because it can smell you can get an infection all that stuff which I'm sure you know if you've been to a gynecologist but definitely be careful so that's why I have a coconut oil when it's organic they're cruelty free I haven't had any problems down there so I'll have that link down below for you guys the next step I have is to moisturize now a great esthetician um, that's waxing you they will put oil on after that's I've heard cases people go to the nail salon and they don't do that and they should also always ask you if you want soft or hard wax soft wax is great if you have sensitive skin and you're prone to like getting those like heat bumps and stuff like anything irritates and you can get bumps from the um the wax you definitely want to make sure they're asking you if you want soft or hard wax um that's just a little tip if they're not, then that should raise a red flag for you right there. But yes, they should put on um, oil after she put on a little, I believe, avocado oil down there for me to keep it moisturized after I left. So, um, and the same thing when I go wax and they put on oil underneath after they wax. And that helps take off any wax that's left. It's very important to, important to moisturize, moisturize, moisturize after. You want to keep it supple and soft and you don't want to irritate it. So, I will use coconut oil or avocado oil. I ordered some avocado oil off of Amazon. So um, I will bounce back and forth between those oils. And you don't want moisture down there. That's how you get bacterial infections or yeast infections. So after I shower and exfoliate for the seven days straight, I'll put avocado, lately I've been doing avocado oil. I'll put it on there and then I'll put a towel on my bed and I'll just lay and I'll have my legs sp uh, broad, spread eagle, spread like an eagle. I'll have my legs spread like an eagle um just so it dries and there's no moisture before i put my underwear on so i've been watching true blood i don't know why i started it because i'm so addicted but i have school work so i'm like oh my god i'll be typing i'm like okay i need to finish this i can't wait to watch true blood so um yeah i'll watch tv or something like that and just let it dry you don't need to lay out that long just make sure that it's dry so there's no moisture getting trapped down there and then put on cotton underwear um that helps you breathe throughout the night. So yeah, I just throw on some cotton underwear and I'm good to go. And even past the seven days after exfoliating, because I only go back, you only need to go back every three to four weeks depending on how fast and thick your hair grows. And then the more you get it, the less often you'll have to go. Like it'll be once a month or once every other month. So right now I'm at every three and a half weeks. So even between there, like I'll exfoliate for the week straight and then in between I'll be moisturizing with coconut oil or avocado oil and then about a day before I will make sure I exfoliate and I'm good to go. Okay guys, and that was actually my last tip, the moisturizing tip. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys gained some knowledge and I gave some useful tips for you guys if you are thinking about getting your Brazilian or starting back again, any of that. If you guys have any other tips, leave them in the comments down below in case I didn't mention something everyone else can see and I can learn something new. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.